let's take a four feature of shares today now first of all let's understand what is four feature of shares it means it means the cancelling of the shares for non payment of the calls due so if a shareholder has not paid any of the calls uh like he has not paid the allotment money or he has defaulted in the first call or second call then the company can cancel his shares right that is called four feature of shares now four feature of shares can be done by the company at any stage maybe after allotment or if the shareholder has not paid the first call and the second call then they may forfeit the shares after all the calls have been made okay now let's look at the journal entries like how this four feature is dealt with now in four feature the first case that we take up is four feature of shares issued at par right now here we will write i'll put down the uh, journal entry then we'll take up a small example in which we'll do the uh, calculations and all share capital account debit here you will have two four feeted shares account then two shared allotment account and to share call account now here this one this is your share capital uh this is the call the amount supposing the value of the share is 10 rupees but the company has called up only rupees 5 till the point of four feature then only 5 rupees will be taken into account for that share capital right to four feeted shares account this is with the amount already received from the shareholder right to share allotment account it is with the amount which is not received on allotment so the shareholder was supposed to pay some money for allotment but he did not pay that money so that will come in share allotment and share first call or um, first call second call whatever it is this is the amount which is not received on the calls right this is the journal entry here now i'll take up a small example to show you how actually the amounts will be calculated let's take up this <clears throat> sumit textiles limited offered 1 lakh equity shares of rupees 10 each payable as rupees 3 on application rupees four on allotment and rupees three on first and final call right okay see this applications were received for 1 lakh 50000 shares a 
allotment was made as under. Eighty thousand shares, eighty thousand applicants were given full allotment. So that means those people who applied for eighty thousand shares got the whole eighty thousand, right? Uh, then fifty thousand applicants were given twenty thousand shares. And twenty thousand applications were rejected, right? Then a shareholder who had applied for thousand equity shares and was allotted the same number of shares that means allotted 2000 shares right failed to pay the allotment money his the company decided to forfeit his shares. Okay, now we have to pass the journal entry for this. How many applications are received in this? Now 1,50,000, fine. So the first entry we'll make here is bank account debit to share application account that is one lakh fifty thousand into three that will be four lakh fifty thousand right after that share application account debit this is how much four lakh fifty thousand now you have two share capital now how many shares will be allotted see here total of 1 lakh equity shares are issued to the public and we have been given 80,000 applicants were given the full allotment that means 80,000 shares have been allotted here right and 50,000 applicants were given 20,000 shares so here 20,000 shares have been allotted so this is 80 plus 20 1 lakh right the rest 20,000 were rejected, right? Okay, so 1 lakh shares have been allotted. So this will be 1 lakh into 3. So that is 3 lakhs, right? Okay, now we know that 20,000 applicants are rejected. So that is bank account because their money will be refunded. 20,000 into 3, that will be 60,000 here, right? Now, the shareholders who applied for 50,000 shares got only 20,000 shares, right? So, what is the application money on 50,000 shares? It is 50,000 into 3, which is equal to 1,50,000. And allotment was made for only 20,000 shares, right? So, the application money for 20,000 shares is how much? It is 20,000 into 3 which is equal to 60,000. So there is an excess of 90,000 rupees with the company. Now we will just see what is the money due on allotment for these 20,000 shares because 
in this question uh, here you see 4 on allotment fine now look at this money due on allotment for 20,000 shares will only be 20,000 into 4 which is equal to 80,000 right so 80,000 will be adjusted towards allotment and after doing this even after this there is an excess of rupees 10,000 now let us assume that the company will adjust this money or or okay excess of 10,000 we'll put it like this excess of 10,000 will be adjusted in the first and final call right okay hmm? okay now see so this has to be written here now here you will have two share allotment that was 80,000 which will be adjusted there okay then I'll write it below this two share first and final call which is 10,000 rupees right so if you add both this uh, this credit side 3 lakh 80 thousand 4 lakh 40 4 lakh 50 so this is the effect of the pro rata allotment here okay after this the next entry will be share allotment account debit to share capital account which is 1 lakh into 4 right that is 4 lakh this is the amount which is due on allotment right okay now what do we have here See, bank account debit to share allotment, right? Now, the amount due that we calculated was 4 lakh minus 80,000 which is already adjusted, right? And now they are saying this question here. A shareholder who had applied for 2,000 equity shares and was allotted the same number of shares fail to pay the allotment money now just look at this there are two categories actually three categories in this the first one where this is the first category 80,000 applicants are given full allotment right now we are talking about this first category here because we are saying a shareholder who had applied for 2,000 equity shares got full allotment allotted the same number of shares so that means there was I mean whatever money he paid for this 2000 shares was utilized in his uh, was transferred to the share capital there was no excess excess will come only in the case of pro rata allotment the second category right so in this case he was he had applied for 2000 shares so 2000 shares means he paid 2000 into 3 6000 rupees got it so the whole of 6000 was his application money only and this allotment money he has to pay fresh I mean he has to pay the allotment money that is 2000 into 4 that's what he was supposed to pay right so I'll put it like this the shareholder holding 2000 shares was supposed to pay how much this much 8000 on allotment which he did not pay right so now this is 80,000 minus 8,000. This 80,000 is the pro rata effect here, which we had adjusted towards allotment that is deducted, and 8,000 is also deducted. So 40 minus 4 lakh minus 80 is 3 lakh 20,000. So this will be 3 lakh 12,000. Okay. Okay. Now after this, the four feature. Now, the question doesn't say that the company called uh, for the first call or whatever. They are saying uh, he failed to pay the allotment money. The company decided to forfeit the shares. So, we assume that the first and final call is not made here because nothing has been given, right? Okay. Uh, so, now you will write, see how many shares are forfeited? 2,000 shares are forfeited, right? Share capital account debit. This will be with the called up value for this uh, four feeted shares now called up value is only this application and allotment they have called only up to this after the allotment the shares are four feeted 
that is before the first and final call. So this is 3 plus 4, 7, right? So here you will have 2000 into 7. This is the called up uh, value on 2000 shares because 2000 shares are forfeited, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you will write two forfeited shares account. This is with the amount of money that you have already received on these shares. Now, on these 2000 shares, he paid only the application money, which is 3 rupees. So, 6000 rupees is two shares forfeited or forfeited shares. And what he did not pay on allotment, that was how much? 2000 into 4, right? So, that will come in share allotment like this. So, this is the entry for four feature that we are supposed to make. This is the four feature of 2000 shares. Right, for non payment of allotment money, the shares are forfeited. This I am writing, this is not to be uh, written in your narration, only this much is sufficient. Right, the shares are forfeited. This is for your uh, uh, reference. The shares are forfeited after allotment, right. So, there can be uh, questions where they ask, where they even make the final call and after that it is forfeited. So, in that case, you will make the entries for the first and final call and then make the forfeiture entry. In that, the call the value will be 10. If all the calls have been made and the value of the share is 10 rupees suppose, then the called up value will be 10. In this case, the called up value is only 7. So, with that, I come to the end of this question on four feature, right? And we will take up some more questions on four feature, uh, in which we will be dealing with some pro rata allotment basis in our next session. Bye.